Hi guys, it's Harley from Vape Mill. Today we're reviewing the Heisentech Magical. It's quite a special review today because it's the first device that I liked when I opened it and still like after I've reviewed it. The Magical is the first device or the first mod battery system from Horizon Tech, very closely followed by the Falcon King kit, which is the same tube style kit. The device is under 39 centimeters by 22.5, unless you put a bubble glass on, then it's by 25 millimeter. It's got a stunning 2000 milliamp hour battery, beautiful. Sub on for direct lung, and it also does mouth to lung. It comes with a 1.8 coil, which is mesh with bamboo fiber. That fires about 13 watts, but it's got a 0.12 coil, which I thought was quite surprisingly low for this type of kit. And that fires at 25 watts, that's also bamboo fibre. The 1.8 is round coil, as the 0.12 is mesh coil. Sorry about that, a lot, a lot to fit in my little brain. It's got lots of different types of protection, but it has got high temperature protection. High temperature protection, high temperature protection, high temperature protection, which means if a car gets too hot, the light will flash five times, it'll cut off. It's also got a 10 second puff time, can cut off. LED indicator. Now, as you probably notice if you watch more of my videos, I, uh, I look quite a lot for the LED indicators on lights. This one isn't the most bright, I haven't really struggled to see it too much though but it's not prominent in your face, I've had to cover it once or twice in the sun. Now, the downfall with this is it's not only takes a one amp charge, which means it'll take about two hours, maybe just a little bit more to charge. I can't remember exactly how long it took mine to charge because I fell asleep, sorry. The LED indicator will tell you you charge though from foot, it's quite typical, 100% to 70% is green, 70% to 30% is blue, like so, and anything below 30% is red, yes. So, talking about battery life, I've been using it all week and I've been quite surprised at how well the battery's lasted. On the 0.12 coil, the battery's going to last you about 18 minutes. Now, whenever I say that, people always go, whoa, 18 minutes, can't even get out of the house. No, what that means is 18 minutes active use, roughly, it's only math calculation, so you also got to take in the calculation of the light and stuff. But we're talking roughly 18 minutes, which is, on my calculations, if you take a two second drag, you're going to have 540 drags. That's 540 two second drags on this little beast before the battery runs out. And I think that's quite decent. But what did amaze me, kind of amaze me, on the one point... 8 coil, it gets 34 minutes battery life. Yet again, you kind of go, oh, what, what, what does that actually mean? Well, 34 minutes is 1,020 two, uh, two second drags. Now, let's just do some math on that. Bear with me. 1,020 two second drags means if you sleep for 8 hours a day, leaving you with 16 days of uh, hours of, leaving you with 16 hours a day awake, that gives you 62, uh, 63 two second drags an hour. Come on, that's a decent battery life guys. Unless you're hammering this constantly from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, this battery is going to last you all day with the 1.8 coil. The colours it comes in is carbon black, stainless steel, rose gold, rainbow, purple and blue. Hmm. One more thing to talk about directly about the mod, or the kit, sorry. It's quite stiff to lift the cap on the refill, but I like it because the problem is we can complain that it's too stiff, we can complain that it's too loose. I'd rather it be too stiff. If it's not too stiff, then you have to yank it. It just doesn't pop up as easy as you think. But you could probably do it with one thing, no, two fingers. But like I said, there's not much effort in it, it just doesn't price to your will, which is a good thing. Slides off, nice decent sized fill hole, not much to complain about. I've really enjoyed using it, I haven't had any leakage, I had a little bit of leakage yesterday, 
I had Nick salts in it. I was walking around, it was boiling out outside, it was in my pocket, so the liquid got really hot and it leaked a little bit once or twice. It weren't enough to kind of dishearten me because it were only a little bit. And that's with the 0.12 coil in. And we do recommend you use 7030 in that. So I'm not going to count that because it was hot, so the 50-50 was already thin. Then I made it thinner by making it out. So it's kind of my fault that it leaked really. Um, but it did still leak. There you go. So how does it taste? On the 1.8, which I've used most of the week, let's face it, it's called the Nixol pen, so I'm going to use it more as a Nixol pen. Which I have to say guys, you can use anything, that's why it comes with a 0.12 coil. Uh, and they do advertise that you should use 730 in that. But I've been using it more on the 1.8 coil. The flavour I got from it was amazing. The vapour was absolutely smooth as hell. It was perfect. Moving on to the sub -home, it was still smooth. I don't think the flavour was there as much. It was alright. It, were right. it weren't not to rave about. But if you're looking for something really good out of this, I suggest you use a 1.8 and use it on Nick Salts or other 50-50s. It feels good. I think it's just sticks. I'm quite... If, if the balance is not too heavy, I'm a fan. And I am a fan. But I think that back covers it, guys. There's not much more to say. I like it. It's sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a second. I'll pick the winners for last week's video, the Lira. And I'll talk about next week's review. Cheers, guys. So the winner from last week's raffle is Do It Like The Wick. And Suzanne Walkinshaw. It's going to be first come, first serve, guys. So whoever messages me first can have the unboxed version. The second one can have the used version. This next week's giveaway is the Smock Morph Kit. That's the touch screen of Bobby Jobby. So I'm quite looking forward to watching that. To be with a chance of winning the Magico Kit, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, comment down below, and next week we'll pick a winner. And don't forget to read the terms and conditions. You will have to pay postage because I'm not a millionaire. That's it. Don't forget to share, subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. Thanks for watching guys, stay cloudy!